doing another video for the anemometers, the outdoor weather station, the Davis Vantage View at the top. Maximum with the red veins and the anemometers, the larger anemometers of the three. You might say, why do you need three anemometers? Well, I don't. Why do you want three anemometers? Well, because I like to keep an eye on the weather. And you can see they're getting a good workout right now. Got them probably, I'm going to say, 20 to 25 feet above ground level. That's the best we can do, folks. It's mounted, as you can see, to a fairly heavy duty with a tripod. And then the pool that it's mounted to is actually a 10 foot outdoors antenna pool for ham radios. And then I got another one that was. You buy them in five or ten foot sections, so I bought a ten footer and then there's a five footer which is cut in half. So there's another two and a half feet on top of that. So it's about twelve and a half, thirteen feet above the rooftop of the garage. But we have, of course, obstacles as you do with everything. We have not one, which is right here. Not two which is this big old buckeye tree here. Anybody want a buckeye? It's, I'm happy to send you some buckeyes. But we've got three trees that are obstructing a very good wind flow through here, but you deal with what cards you are dealt. Now let's take a look at the inside equipment, shall we? This is the Davis Vantage View indoor unit. It has the backlight turned on right now. Wind direction and speed on the left hand side. Indoor and outdoor temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, dew point 54 degrees. It was in the mid 60s earlier. Rainfall since midnight 7100s. Maximum wind speed since midnight 16 at 3:54 p.m. This is the rapid fire from Weather Underground for our weather station live on the internet. Of course there's a bit of a delay from when it's actually transmitted from the indoor console to the computer to the internet to your web browser. But for the most part it's only a couple seconds. Besides that, don't expect a 75 mile per hour gust exactly when it happens. So that's the indoor unit plus the rapid fire display from weather underground 72 degrees nice outside the humidity is dropping off nicely dew points 54 degrees pressure rising slowly high was 76 low 59 here's your five minute wind history wind speed history and here is your current direction with current speed westerly at six west northwest at five so now let's take a look at the handsome maximum instruments that we have on the display board. Now you are likely to see the silhouette of me in the glass reflecting from the background but there's nothing much I can do about it due to the fact that the lights above my head and it's fluorescent. That being said you can see the needle for the maximum Maestro 2S. A very light breeze out there right now. Again as I said trees all over the place certainly keep me from receiving high wind gusts unfortunately and then here is the maximum Merlin station yes we did go from 0 to 3 and uh, it has the peak wind speed or actually I'm sorry the present wind speed and then the peak wind speed of 17 out of the south the average wind speed since last reset forecast and there's your current one speed again with the direction southerly I'm sorry I don't have real high winds to show you right now even a five mile per hour breeze would be nice but mother nature is not cooperating so I just wanted to show you those here's what the two of them look like on the display board together so I can get my shadow out of there 
might be a little more creative there you go my silhouette anyway there is by the way on the maximum Merlin a two second delay uh, since the signal is being sent through a shielded cable from the anemometer however it does update instantaneously which is what I like about it and that's what the Heathkit ID 4001 and 5001 does they update instantaneously you've seen videos of mine where I've had Heathkit 4001 footage on here because it updates instantaneously I don't want a weather station that tells me what the wind speed is 30 seconds after it took place folks I don't want a piece of junk that says your wind speed was 18 mile per hour in another 30 seconds I'll give you another wind speed if you're lucky that's not what I want that's why I spend all this money to get all this fine quality equipment thank you for watching and check out our website